this is Alan Vance from Gilson Engineering Sales, and I'm in our flow lab today to discuss with you our Symmetrics insertion flow meters. These meters are a very simple yet effective way to measure flow. So let's take a look at a couple of these meters installed in our flow lab. First, I'm going to turn the pumps on using our Unitronics PLC. And what we're doing is we're moving flow from one tank to the other. On our left here is the inch and a half fixed depth insertion mag meter with an integral display. And on the right, we have our V cone, which is a differential or connected to a differential pressure transmitter reading flow. As you can see, the flow is ramping up here and it's probably going to settle in right around 19 to 20 gallons a minute and we can compare that to the display of the transmitter reading the same. Now on our inch and a half line I'm going to throttle this valve back a little bit to decrease the flow and as you can see the reading on the DP transmitter and the symmetrics insertion meter are approximately the same. Next, we also have installed in our, one of our one inch lines a Symmetrics insertion paddle wheel flow meter. This meter has a blind unit, no display, and we're taking the pulse output from this meter up to our fluid well display mounted on the wall here. You can see our gallon per minute reading, which is 11.3, and then the top display will be your totalizer that will count in gallons for you. As you can see on our table here, we have three basic styles of flow meters. We have an insertion paddle wheel, we have an insertion turbine, and we have an insertion mag meter that has no moving parts. Each of these meters has three basic mounting types. We have our fixed depth meters, we have adjustable meter, and we have an adjustable hot tap unit that mounts through a two inch full port ball valve. This unit here is our most popular because you can install it and remove it while the pressure is on the line. It gives the customer a lot of flexibility in his installation when he puts in the meter. Thus, a question I get a lot when looking at flow meter applications is which meter should I go with and why? Let me try and simplify it for you. Let's talk about the insertion propeller meter first. Typically, this is our most economical solution, and it's available in sizes 1 half through 8 inch fixed, and we have it 3 to 48 inch adjustable. Because this is a spinning paddle, Typically, we use these on clean liquids only. Also, with this meter, we have a battery electronics, which will display rate and total. And these are excellent for remote areas with no power. We also have a powered electronics, which will give you a 4 to 20 milliamp DC output. On the insertion turbine meters, we have a fixed depth unit that starts at one and a half inch and goes up to eight inch line sizes. We also have the adjustable units from three to 48 inches. And again, we have the fixed adjustable and through the ball valve. The electronics on the turbine meter are the same as what's on the impeller flow meter. We have both battery and also powered uh, electronics. The turbine meter is slightly more accurate than the impeller flow meter, typically at the low end readings. Finally, we have the insertion magnetic flow meter. The mag meter is very popular because it has no moving parts. There is no paddle or turbine spinning. This unit here is available in a fixed depth, one to 12 inch, and we also have the adjustable depth from three to 72 inches. This unit also can be incorporated through our two inch full port ball valve for hot tap installation as well. The mag meter can be used on dirty liquids. 
The battery electronics are not available with the mag, so the area you're installing this in must have power for this unit to work. The insertion mag has an accuracy of plus or minus 1% versus the paddle wheel and turbines, which are plus or minus 1.5%. A way to simplify your flow meter selection even further is to give us a call here at Gilson Engineering and let us visit your plant. We can assist you in determining the best flow meter for your application.